does a sexual relationship affect the self realization process and does it become easier when the desire for sex naturally drops off the self realization process is impacted by that many elements that it's almost impossible to say which aspect is impacting your current process and definitely sexual experience or a sexual relationship will impact that process and it's not that it will impact it negatively it just changes how certain experiences are perceived you know if you are in a process of tuning into the soul which is a very very material experience actually and there is a impact of some sort from an from an external influence what will happen is that there will be a sort of distraction your sexual experiences are happening on a plane which is the emotional plane of consciousness it's where it's all happening the sexual desires the sexual force at play so when that happens the consciousness tends to to be alert and awake in that one area for a self realization process which means a tuning in generally everything else quiets down and when it quiets down you tune in more and more which doesn't mean that you can't experience truth or soul or source even through a sexual experience you can most certainly but it is always easier when the desires are quieted down for that tune in to happen the problem is that the sexual experience is often connected with something which is standing in the way of the spiritual path religion has brought that in over the centuries and there's also this huge misconception about sexuality that you have to be celibate in order to experience deeper truths the actual process is the other way around it's when you experience deeper truths that the largely emotional sexual experience expands into a unity experience it's like the consciousness moves it 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 moves from the conceptual it moves to the transformative it moves to the unity consciousness area and as this consciousness expands your experience of what sexuality brings in the emotional is expanded into what it brings in the unity consciousness that oneness experience is a very 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 powerful experience it's like an expansion of the emotional sexual experience so all these things are very subtly connected with each other in a concrete experience of tuning into source and to soul which is the self realization process the sexual experience will change its nature it'll start to become more and more subtle it'll start to become more and more one could say potent because it's not any more only something happening in the emotional it's also happening in the transformative for example when the consciousness expands it expands first from the emotional into the conceptual where there's more clarity of thinking there's more precise thinking and then it moves it expands further the more you go deeper into self realization which means you start to feel the soul you start to to actually tune into the soul beyond the ego the more that expansion happens 
So then there's more clarity in thinking. There's more clarity in creativity. The ability for unity consciousness and sexuality is experienced in each of these layers of consciousness. And in the pluriform layer, that's when it's like the two people involved in a sexual experience will start to experience each other as divinities. Two people can actually experience sexuality as two gods, sort of, sort of looking at each other and meeting sexually as divinities and not on a, let's say, more evolutionarily seen animal level, not even on the human level, not even on the new being level, but even further than that in an almost futuristic way of meeting, which of course is known to humankind for a few thousand years. That's what sexual experience does to the self-realization process. Both impact each other. The more self-realization, the more expanded the experience of sexuality, the more expanded the experience of sexuality, the more readiness in the system for that self-realization process. They sort of feed each other into growing and ascending. It's a very fascinating process to observe within yourself. Celibacy is not something which is natural to a human being. Celibacy is something which happens along the way when there is certain types of tuning into source and acting from source, celibacy becomes inevitable. But then it also, at one point, drops away. And that same, very same person is capable of sexual experience again. And then it may fall away again also. So, what is crucial you know, in this self-realization journey is to pay attention to the sexual experience not as a fulfilling of desire but as a means of communication, of different kinds of communication. That's what it's meant for, actually. Yes.